please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. We have Sanjeev Hasin now joining us from IFL. Uh, Sanjeev, good morning. Uh, first things first, thoughts on Yes Bank. It's down from 400 to 330. There's a good chance that it breaks 300 in early morning trade today. Would that be a buying opportunity or uh, you know, do, you, do you want to see how things move from here? Yeah, good morning. Uh, so, Anuj, I think uh, markets were in the know of uh, Yes Bank having this succession problem. And it's amazing, you know, the bank has been a huge wealth creator, I think 33, 35 times since its uh, IPO listing in 2005, market cap of close to 75,000. And yet, uh, in all uh, prudence, there is no succession plan. Secondly, it has highlighted uh, the RBI being now stringent that management and uh, uh, you know, running a bank may not be the order of the day and a constant change of CEOs after t at least two terms will be very much on the card. So yes, this, uh, this I would say Yes Bank could be named as Yes uh, Rana Kapoor Bank because of the uh, wealth it has created and there will be a degree of uh, pessimism which will come. But I think given the size, given the book, given the performance, I would be uh, sticking my neck out at 275 to 80, which was the recent time lows to buy this bank. I think most of the bad news may be in it. And if we get a reasonable succession plan with a professional at the helm, uh, th that could steer us uh, through this rough weather. Okay. Well, today will not be an IT day because the expectations are that uh, uh, the rupee should recover substantially going by the way the Asian currencies have recovered. And we have taken some or at least... Uh, uh, saying that we're going to take some more tough steps. In that context, how will you look at HCL Tech? There is a uh, acquisition which we are told uh, could be a fairly decent deal. Uh, are you positive on that stock uh, or do you track it, Sanjeev? Uh, could you repeat the name? HCL the Tech, they have won a deal from ASDA, the third largest okay. grocery retailer in UK. HCL Tech. Yeah, so... So, so, Lata, as a disclosure, we've had a very positive coverage on HCL Tech at 925 when, you know, it lagged because of the last quarterly results and so on and before the buyback. Now, of course, the buyback price and the stock price has almost come uh, in synergies and I still think that HCL Tech is uh, in the top five, will, would be the most reasonable and would be the, one of the best performers. However, as a disclosure, we've been underweight on IT and have used this rally to sell. We are playing the weakness in the rupee through the pharma pack. Okay. So for HCL Tech, it would be a thumbs up. But for us, pharma would be the dark horse of 2019 to play any weakness in the rupee. Okay, <coughs> pharma will be the dark horse. Uh, uh, Sanjeev, uh, what about a stock like Bajaj Finance? Uh, it's now corrected 15%. Yeah, good point, Anuj, and it's telling you where the lock, stock and barrel has been sold, you know, by the FIs. Now, that was more to do with collateral selling, rupee, hedge and so on. I think a large part of the weakness may have played out. The stock has been a pedigree performer and at these levels, my recommendation definitely would be to do a SIP for the next three months. I think we are at the edge of uh, the dollar strength, like Lata pointed out. I think the bears have had a very field day in the last week, 10 days, when every day they were using any uh, rise, uh, week, any strength in the uh, rupee to sell. And that may have played out well, but now we are, we are in a changing time. Globally, there is a huge rally on the cards. And I think Bajaj Finance for uh, all the weakness would be a buying opportunity here. A SIP would be an ideal play to, uh, way to play the volatility, but we continue to think year-end targets of close to 3,000 may be on the cards.